John Lennon. It portrayed the man as everything from a drug addict to a mugger. Cruelty and homosexuality thrown in for good measure. Now next week, another book comes out which may help to redress the balance. It's called John Lennon, My Brother. And it's written by John Lennon's sister, who we'll meet now, Julia Baird. <laughs> John, never John Lennon, just John. Did you, do you 
thinks that you've changed and your attitude to him? No, no. Because when he was talking on the phone, say, in the mid-70s, which is when he wanted the family back again, it was just, oh, hi, June, how are things going? And we just talked about the family all the time. So why do you think he wanted the family back again? Why did he want to be part of the family? Um, I, he came... We were a very large, extended, loving family, and I don't know how anyone couldn't miss it. If they were away from it, I certainly would. And we've all stayed together, and in fact, we've extended even more because we've all had all the children have had children now. Um, and it was John that had moved away from it, and I think it's very normal if he wanted it back. Did you well, in all the phone calls? This is the period, according to the Goldman book, that he was cracking up badly and that becoming anorexic and taking drugs. Mm. I mean, when you were talking to him on the phone, up on the mm. phone most of the time. Mm. I mean, was there any indication there? Not to me. There anything wrong with it? Not at all. I can only say um, that as far as I knew, John was being the house husband, looking after Sean, giving him as much time as he possibly could, cooking, asking for recipes, baking bread and wanting medals for it, asking for how to make a better dough and how to make a good gravy, which I can't do. He could probably make a better one than me. Um, I certainly couldn't see the bits that I've read of the Goldman book. I couldn't see it at all, and Paul agrees with all. Was there anything in the Goldman book that you thought run through, that there was, or was it just, in your opinion, just purely sensationalism? And I think I would agree with, um, I would say that it was trashy. I think there's an element of truth in anything that comes out, but how important it is, I don't know. I certainly didn't want to read, say, the Elvis Hatchet John. Um, I think a man is known by his deeds, and it's what John put out that's important. You were asked to, to help with the book. Yes, you, I was. You, why did you decide not to? Um, because I'd, um, I'd heard of the, uh, the Golden Reputation because I'd scanned the Elvis book and thought, no, I don't want any part of a book on my brother by this author. And I said no twice. In actual fact, he's acknowledged me in the back and if no constitutes an interview, then I had one. Yeah. Did you lost touch again then slightly before, before John was... Yes, I think um, the last time I was in touch personally must have been 1978. But he'd, I'd moved house by then, and I hadn't telephoned him, but he's still in touch with, with my cousin. We all knew he was coming home. We all knew the plans. We, all, we were all waiting to see him. He seemed to be becoming, getting more into his creative mode again mm. just before he died, didn't he? Well, he said that he'd had a good long rest and that he was totally rejuvenated. He said himself that he needed the break and that he could never have written starting over, say, in uh, 1975, that he needed to, he needed that time um, to gather his resources, if you like. I don't think he'd even started. I think there was a lot more to come. He always had an ambition to be a writer, and I don't think in the in his own right style, I think it probably would have been quite serious. I don't know how, but I think that's what he would have gone into. From the knowledge of the younger sister, obviously, he was a complex man from what we know. Did he yeah. seem that way to you? I mean, could, could you sum up, if you possibly can, something of him in a sentence of what, what he was like? John the man. Yeah. I think he was a contradiction in terms. He was um, happy, tragic, sad, loving, tortured, everything rolled into one. A genius, I think. We look forward I'm to slightly that. biased. <laughs> of course you <laughs> But it's nice to have you here, mm. hear you talk about it. Thank you. And good luck with you both. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you.